Do you know what this is? This is a widow skeleton skull. And I have quite a few more here. And uh, into this is only the result from today's project building a widow skeleton farm. Mind you, it's not from using the farm. So last time I was right to be a bit scary of this project because it involved several deaths, but we also got ourselves uh, quite a few skulls in the process, uh, which means more scary sc tasks uh, killing the widow to get more beacons. But that's definitely something for another time, so let's get into building. Hello boys and girls, my name is Otsu and welcome back to another episode in Minecraft. It's episode 60, right. And we are, as you might have noticed, in the nether, uh, right? Be beside our uh, uh, previous build with the uh, salt generator right back there. And today, uh, our focus is in front of us, here. The nether fortress with uh, uh, these two, three crossroads, uh, that will be the base for our uh, will skeleton farm. And, uh, but the uh, first order of business is uh, somewhere around here, I need a beacon, so uh, I will have to uh, uh, dig up to uh, bedrock and uh, figure out the correct location so the beam actually goes through the roof there. So, and then um, we will see about the farm down there. I managed to get the uh, platform in. Um, there were the uh, three torches, that's the middle sign, with uh, 15 blocks on uh, each side. And uh, I can tell you it was hairy going, uh, because uh, there were so many uh, widow skeletons and uh, uh, blazes spawning. You can see two of them over there. And then basically here, that will be our uh, access. And um, let's mark out the uh, middle sile here with daylight sensors. You can also go with uh, uh, flower pots, which is probably the, uh, the cheaper alternative. Uh, but I like to have a uh, more squarish uh, uh, block uh, as a foundation. And there you see the problem uh, with these blazes. You have to deal with them, otherwise they deal with you. And always be aware of the uh, widow skeletons. And yep, there it comes. And just by uh, fighting uh, the uh, odd widow skeletons uh, here while building, I managed to get myself four widow skeleton. Skulls. Hey, it's not fair. And I'm out of uh, daylight sensors. Uh, but uh, as you can see, uh, everything is in place. So uh, uh, what I will do next is uh, another widow skeleton hat. Uh, 
um, is to finish this middle side here and um, on the on the side Ooh, more blazes and on the side uh, we will have um, the uh, these stairs here uh, so that uh, blazes on the other side cannot spot us but the uh, widow skeletons can and can I squeeze through here no I can't um, it's that that's no issue and then i also uh want to uh to add uh, the, the side street here where it's open uh it will be uh glass so you can actually see outside and uh, there where it's uh, basically encased in a netherrack it will be the same design uh like there on top probably um bit more uh, spacing and um, then I have to figure uh, uh, what to do with the roof because ideally um, it would be uh, bottom half slabs uh, but as we cannot light the thing up I have a feeling this color combination is will get pretty dark so maybe uh, a bit of quartz that could work um, but one thing at a time I get around to finish the uh, outside the inside the corridor and now I have a few roof designs one is this with the uh, stairs here at the side and then a variation of the uh, polished uh, slabs and the brick slabs. I think it looks quite nice, but in the end, uh, it does not really make uh, a difference uh, uh, between the polished and uh, and the brick. Uh, here is one purely brick that's just bland and uh, no go. Then here the same with the uh, polished slabs, which is even worse than the bricks. And this is basically the same as the uh, first variant over there, but just only with the bricks. And here you can see that mixing in is a bit better. Uh, but I don't think it makes that big a difference. Then here we have uh, basically uh, uh, quartz slabs, uh, which makes quite a contrast. Uh, it's it's way lighter, but I think it's it's too bland. Uh, not too much contour here. So uh, this is the final design I want to go to with the uh, stairs here on the outside and then uh, three quartz slabs uh, down in the middle if you have other suggestions or uh, you liked something different better let me know in the comments down below and i will put a roof in on here and then we probably also have to do something uh, on top here and maybe over there uh, in the rest of the fortress don't want any skeletons spawning over there while we're using the farm but I think that's as far as I will go with uh, spawn proofing the uh, the area and uh, then it's basically it might take a bit more time but uh, if time that's all that's needed uh, this can be reached 
so I will finish the design down there and then we will have a final look uh, with a run of the farm as you can see it is done now all the roof is in all the uh, uh, stairs on the sides are in and the back there is so far back here was the nether fog you cannot even see it but it is working it's spawning uh, different creatures like magma cubes with skeletons uh, zombie pigmen and also blazes and as I did mention before uh, this is not about being the most uh, efficient farm it's more uh, about uh, Getting all the uh, widow skeletons together in one place to kill them instead of uh, hunting. And uh, oh, I got the widow skeleton in my inventory. I had nine before. So let's put that one in here. And what is that? I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode. Um, I'm very glad that I could uh, check this project off my list. Uh, so we can now uh, uh, tackle the next scary project. Uh, for example, uh, fighting the widows or something different. Um, but more on that next time. So for now, it's goodbye.